Hi, I'm Rob Sword from Robart Electrical Services. We'd like to show you a little bit of a video described by a couple of our field technicians on how we do connections to LED light discs. I hope you enjoy it. So today we are installing IC rated, uh, which means in contact with uh, insulation rated LED discs. They're kind of the new thing. Um, they're very thin and can basically go anywhere, even underneath joists. Um, they're only half inch thick. So uh, Danny here has a junction box ready to go. Um, and it's got a driver in there with a little wire coming off that you'll connect your LED disc to. So finish off the um, connections by placing them in your quick connect ports. You can tuck your wires into the driver in the little junction box, close it up. And these junction boxes are small enough that they fit right up in that hole. It can be a little bit messy as you can see. And all you'll have hanging out now is a low voltage wire coming from that junction box with the driver. All you have to do, clip it in, twist it, and now your connection is made. Now the hard part, installing them. Two little clips, that's all it takes. You just clip them onto the drywall. Push them up and it holds onto the drywall and sits in there. Simple as that. So that's how you install the 4 inch IC rated discs. Now to prep these things all you would do in the rough end stage is, um, is run your wires to where your pot lights would be and then staple your wires just above the drywall. After which, when it is drywall, you use a four inch hole saw and you just hole saw up. You can use a laser level, make it real nice and perfect, and then uh, pull your wires through because they should be right there. So something that a lot of fixtures now come with is uh, what's called a quick connect. And it basically eliminates the need to splice and use a marette to um, cap off the wires. These are, all you have to do is strip your wires, which Danny's done already. As you can see, they're all stripped and ready to be plugged in. And instead of putting them all together and twisting them, cutting them, you just push. And there's a pressure connection inside that holds the wires tight so that they don't move. And that makes your splice nice and easy. There you have it. Everything's ready to go and probably saved about two minutes on those splices by just doing a quick cut. That was a bit of a demonstration from Ryan and Danny showing us how they make the connections and so forth on the new LED light discs. That's the type of thing that we use for finishing nowadays. I hope you enjoyed it.